Previously on T Man 978. This sideswipe is from Dark of the Moon. He's the convertible version. Here is his packaging right here. T Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T Man 978. Yay. Right now I am reviewing. New 8, The Legendary Heroes, Military Strategist, Harry. There's a bunch of other stuff here. If you want to read that, I don't feel like it. But look at the balls they had to put this actual, like, super duper G1-like artwork right there. That's the picture, or that's the same exact pose that was on the original Prowl action figure from Generation 1. They may have modified it a little bit. To make it look a little bit more cartoony, but they might as well went the extra mile and put put the Autobot logo on there, like I did, right here on the guy. This is my new favorite thing. Every month I get something that's just my favoriteest thing in the world, and I love them. Let's just just let's just look at them for a moment. It's magnificent. People keep complaining. He doesn't scale with anything, though. He, he's too small to scale with the legend. I don't give a crap. Look at this. It's a freaking work of art. It's a masterpiece. And it's like full of articulation. I mean, just let's just suck it in. Soak it in. That's what I meant to say, but oh, I don't care. I'm not editing that out. It's just, it's freaking beautiful. And here's how he scales with their version of Bumblebee right there. It's just spectacular. I have no problems with it. And let's just throw in Wind Charger from G1. Well, I would throw him in, but he doesn't like to stand up. So you go off to the side. But here's what they're complaining about. This Legend Scale Wind Charger right here is vastly taller than him and the typical like iron factory legends class dude like somebody like jazz is around the same height as this wind charger right here and so i can get this out of the way now look at this this one's a little bit more detailed as you would imagine with it being a bigger figure but man they both look nice this is the original one, not the cartoon color version one. The cartoon color version one has like light blue windows and whatnot. I don't know if I'm going to shell out the money for that. I'd like it, but I don't want to pay for it since I already paid for this. And it, it does the trick for me. I love Brow. And here he is up close. I mean, this little tiny, look at that, that face is of just a portion of the size of the tip of my finger like all oh, that is nuts i know people say i have giant hands but they probably just look like that on camera look at the paint in the detail on him nice nice why do you keep getting fuzzy well because this thing is so tiny i was trying to focus on it is freaking difficult yeah, let's get into the articulation, which is nuts. The head looks completely all the way up. It's on a ball joint, so it can rotate. You don't get too much tilt in there, but the shoulders go up like that on this little transformation panel, comes down. It's on a separate ball joint, so you get that action right there. You can rotate as a hinge and a ball joint so double joint it elbows right there no wrist waist swivel the crotch i'm not sure if you use this for transformation but if you bend that forward you do get like and a sort of fake ab crunch or you get a super duper crotch thrust legs even with the sculpting right there all the way out all the way back all the way forward 
go out to the side like a little swivel there. Double jointed knees, but this pin right there is tight, so you have to bend it separately. But you get all of that. Ankle pivot, it's on like a ball joint, and a foot can't really kick forward too much, but you can kick back half transforming things sort of like bumblebee or their bumblebee and you get this heel articulation right here you don't really need it but it's there so love it if there's one thing that's unfortunate about the sculpting or anything you have this behind his head but who cares they have these missile launchers right here you saw them on him earlier they clip into the side G1 toy accurate before you write it in the comments I already know that they made a somebody made um, printout kit that you can put in here to make his chest not slope down but when you lift it up it starts coming up in front of his face so I don't know how much I would like that but I'm willing to bet you that somebody's not gonna watch this video and they're still gonna tell me in the comment you know that they made a little little upgrade kit that can change his chest and I'm not gonna reply to that comment <laughs> yeah I like him he's great one thing too you can do you could take these launchers and actually peg them into his hands so I thought that was a nice touch since they actually put little pegs on there you might as well put them in his hand and if you want to replace that, you can go wheel jack style and put a little cannon right there, which is his regular gun. Transformation. One thing I want to mention that was a problem with him, the hips, they were loose out of packaging. So I just put some floor polish on that. But anywho, let's just rotate the waist now before we forget. Take this out like that. Lift these up. Here's what he looks like if you want to keep these up. Unpeg this from the front. Leave the face like it is basically. But let's go ahead and rotate that like this. Rotate the hand like this. Spin the hand around. Rotate the hand in like this. Bring, basically we want the wheel to be on the outside. But we need the fist to be in the inside so that it can come down and peg into the little hole right here. Kind of seed side swipe style, straighten everything up. You could turn the head around if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to lift it up like that. Now we can bring this down into that position. Let's go ahead and swing this up, swing this up and rock the legs kind of backwards on the knees, at the knees, up into this position, peg them together, and put that on top of there. Now we can go ahead and shut the doors. And he is a police car. Very, very nice. Here he is, like the detail. It doesn't have things like highway patrol on there or anything. And yours won't have that sticker like mine does, but it is nicely, nicely painted for what they did give it. As far as details, here he is next to you, your typical Legend Scale car. Here it is next to another Legend Scale type vehicle. Here there is next to you, a G1 Minibot. And here it is next to you, a MicroMaster. So, this is what you're working with right there. It's cool. I can deal with it. I like it. So, at the end of the day, this thing was a tiny bit pricey. Uh, you'll be lucky to find it under 30 bucks. But I personally am happy with my purchase. I won't tell you how much I paid for it because you don't need to know that. And people tracking and keeping records of everything that I'm doing. Because you know there's might be some type of sickle or somebody out there nosy doing that. They don't need to know all that. G1 
just you just go online, look up everything you need to look up if you want this guy, and you can have your very own military strategist Harry for your collection. Strategist, I recommend them. I like it. This has been T Man Nine Seven Eight, and I thank you so very much for watching this video. Until next time, T Man Nine Seven Eight. Out of here. Click the videos, baby, click, click the videos, you really should click those.